Jansen Harris reporting from the Just Good Network here in Atlanta, Georgia. This segment is sponsored by Your Future Media. For all media purposes, visit yourfuturemedia.com. Did Travis Slank, the general manager of the Atlanta Hawks, make the right decision drafting DeAndre Hunter over Jared Culver? Many compare those two prospects. I say yes. And it's an interesting story behind DeAndre Hunter, kind of an underdog story, because if it wasn't for Kalia Jones decommitting from Virginia back in 2016 and going to Kentucky, he wouldn't even have been on Virginia to win a championship. And then remember that first season, he was redshirted. He didn't want that to happen. And then he was the sixth man until the end of the year. Unfortunately, he got hurt and we seen Virginia lose in the first round probably the biggest upset of all time but the next season seeing the growth him going from being a 38 percent three-point shooter to a 43 percent three-point shooter and shooting the ball 52 percent overall you saw the growth from his sophomore season well his his red shirt freshman season to his sophomore season I think those are some of the reasons why he got drafted he showed that he could get better he could work through adversity even if he feels the coaching staff may be a little against him he still buys in the program and let's not forget the NCAA tournament he had he went through the whole tournament struggling 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 and then what happened in the championship game defending Jared Culver who's awesome at getting to the basket he was knocking his threes down key layups he ignited Virginia in the second half to win that game and I think that's why he went number four and I think he could carry a lot of that winning mentality being able to overcome pressure situations in the NBA look the Hawks are not going to want him to come in there and be a 15 to 20 point guy his rookie season he needs to be three and D he could guard from the one position to the four position the NBA six foot seven lengthy guy he could become an elite wing defender that's what they want him to be the guy who could shoot the three-pointer efficiently if you shoot in the 40 percent range that's cool and a guy who could be a lockdown defender I think his rookie season he'll shock some people not a lot of people have him up on the list of potentially becoming rookie of the year that's probably going to depend a lot on his offensive game but again if we pay attention defensively he could be the best defensive player in the draft. He could have a big season for the Hawks, playing alongside Cam Reddish, Trey Young, John Collins, Jabari Parker now on the team. We're going to see a couple other moves the Hawks make as well. Nothing is, is penned in into the plan with them. So don't sleep on DeAndre Hunter. I think it was a good move by Travis Slank bringing him in at number four because he deserves it. He's a winner. He's a champion. And some of that can translate to the next level in the NBA. I'm Jansen Harris with the Just Good Network.